So it looks like they found Jonathan guilty. Now, am I gonna say I'm surprised? No, not at all. Now I am surprised because I don't think he did it, but I'm not surprised that they found him guilty. So let me clarify that. And all he had to say after the trial was, this is America. So it sounds to me like he wasn't even surprised. But I wanna say, this should be a warning to all men. All men, be aware. Because this situation had videotape, surveillance footage from the apartment, text messages, it had, it had everything you needed to clear this man's name and he still lost. And he had money to hire a pretty good lawyer and still lost. I need you men to understand this. They're not playing any games out here. They're not playing any games. And I know a lot of people out there are gonna say, well, that's because she's a white girl and the system always, you know, protect the white girls. You're correct, they do. But this can happen with women of other nationalities as well. Men, just protect yourself. Like with this situation, he wasn't even found guilty of intentionally trying to hurt her. He was found guilty of being reckless, which means they could have been tussling over a cell phone and maybe he scratched her hand trying to pull the phone out of her hand, something silly like that. That's what he got found guilty of. They said there was some other stuff going on with her. Maybe she had something going on with her head, but the woman was passed out drunk the night before. She could have hit her head on the ground. It doesn't matter. If you are dealing with a woman and she says you did it, you did it. That's how they see it. Doesn't matter how she got that injury. But people ain't gonna hear about that. All they're gonna know is that he's found guilty and they're gonna leave it at that. But he wasn't found guilty of the main charge, which was intentional assault. He didn't do that. What he was found guilty of doing was interacting with her. See, what he should have did was just never interacted with her. When a woman start acting crazy and grabbing your phone and all that crazy stuff, you gotta just walk away. Now, I know it's hard. When someone's trying to take your cell phone, you want your cell phone back. But this is why I say stay away from crazy women. Stay away from these crazy women because this could have went even worse for him. If he would have messed around and had a jury find him guilty on intentionally doing some damage, that's jail time. That's jail time. This is not gonna be jail time, but the fact is his name is now damaged. His reputation is ruined. People are not gonna care that he was only found guilty of the lesser charges, of, in, of, of making a mistake and scratching her or whatever he did. No one's gonna care about that. All they're gonna hear is guilty. No one's gonna care that he was acquitted of all the real charges. So his name is ruined because he was messing around with the wrong woman. Fellas, just protect yourself. Be safe. Do not mess with these crazy women. It may seem cute at first because they're always threatening you and doing crazy girl stuff. Leave these women alone. Leave these women alone because the last thing you want to be is in jail because some woman decided she didn't like how you responded to something she did to you. Because we clearly see he's running from her down the street. He is running from this woman trying to get away from her, but that did not matter. They have phone calls. This man called the police on the girl and still got hit with some charges. Men, protect yourself. Just protect yourself. These women ain't playing out here. These police ain't playing out here. These courts ain't playing out here. Men, it ain't safe out here. I'm not saying leave women alone but only deal with women with some sense. Leave those crazy girls alone. I am telling you fellas, leave them alone. Leave them alone because like I said, this could have went way worse, way worse. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.